feel like somebody looked at a piece of fabric and was like, how many sequins can I possibly put on this? And then call it a dress. to my channel if you're new here my name is veronica i'm a part-time reseller and also a full-time working solo parent i live in new jersey and i sell pre-owned clothing on poshmark and ebay and macari sometimes on depop and i do a lot of my sourcing at the bins or thrift stores but also i like to order boxes from thread up still do even though that's been a rocky relationship but overall we're still cool i did order another scrap fabric box or diy DIY textiles or whatever it's called now. I cannot keep up with thread up just like reinventing names and things. But anyway, it's a 10 pound box full of items that thread up just didn't want to sell and deemed um, worthy of this box. I ordered this box once before and actually I had actual clothing items in there and I listed a lot of them and a lot of them have sold and you're going to see a few of those in my next uh, what sold video. You may have seen some in my previous what sold video. I'm actually shipping one out today so <laughs> it's kind of fitting that I'm recording this. Now, full disclosure, I already opened this box previously. Um, it got here last week and I just had a day where I didn't feel like filming. I was kind of not in a good mood and I just wanted to see what's in there and figured, yeah, maybe it'll cheer me up. And it's definitely interesting. So without further ado, let's see what Thread Up sent me. All right, I, I kind of tried to put everything in, back in sort of neatly. Um, these boxes, again, it's 10 pounds. I think I mentioned that. And they go for $24 on the Thread Up website. However, you need to pay shipping and shipping is like $10.99 or $10.9.99 or something like that. So your total comes up to 34. And even if you're a VIT, a very important thrifter, which I am, you still have to pay shipping at that lower price you only get free shipping when you get to 29.99 and you cannot really combine as far as i know two rescue boxes in your cart so you're always stuck with shipping which kind of sucks but okay so i kind of forgot most of the stuff that's in here i know there wasn't anything like super duper crazy impressive but there were a few like cute pieces that i think i'll list so this is a navy blue a little mini dress it has all of this like floral lacing right here the brand tag has been cut out and honestly i can't remember if i could figure out if this does have a brand um oh yeah uh, i looked at it and you can maybe not really see in this lighting but this tag is kind of like a light purple like a lavender so i'm pretty sure this is the brand alia alia it's one of those francesca's brands and i think Looking at the tag that down here, that is very likely. I will see if there's any, I think there's an RN that I can look at, but it's like this cursive writing. It does say it's a size small. It has a style number and it does have an RN. So I can look it up and will likely list it because I can figure out what the brand is or where it's sold. And it does have a size, it's a size small. And this one was very interesting. I, it's 100% silk, but I cannot read the tag because it's a language I don't speak or read or anything. So it's this like kind of like kimono, um, traditional garment. Yeah, it's very interesting and very pretty. I don't know what this specific garment is called, but I will find out when I list it because it is 100% silk and it's honestly very lightweight and I don't know who would wear that and when they would wear it. Here's the back. But it's just, it's lovely and it's silk, like 100% silk. I was very happy that that tag I could understand. So um, yeah, I'm definitely listing that. I'll just look for really good keywords. I might run the tag through Google Lens. I might find somebody who can tell me what it says, if it's any, you know, important brand that I should know about. But yeah, we'll see. Um, this one is kind of dingy and I'm not sure if I'm going to list it. But it's a Morgan Taylor Intimates, size medium, uh, little robe. I will probably just run that through like a OxyClean cycle because it is kind of cute. I mean, if you get this on a hanger and you get a good picture of it, yeah, I think this could this could sell, but it does definitely have some like yellowing and such. So it's really hard with these light colors to keep them clean. Speaking of yellowing, so this thing, I don't know what that is. If it's a table runner, it's like a body pillowcase. It's just like, lace and mesh and it's very yellow and like dingy looking and it's just this long kind of like a a tube like a really long pillowcase kind of thing i don't know what this is supposed to be 
Like, I have no idea. So, it's dingy. It's nasty. I don't want to look at it anymore. So, that's going to go. That's probably going to go in the... I don't know if I want to put it in the trash. I, I know there are people who upcycle things. And I wish I could be more of an upcycler. But I don't know what I would do with that, honestly. This one is just an acceleration size extra small. But it's very cute. So, I think I will list it. It's a cute summer... I think it's a maxi dress yeah i mean look at this this is kind of adorable it's floral it's just like peach color it does have ties uh they don't seem to have anything specific on them like tassels and such it's partially lined and it just goes on and on and on and yeah it's like it has the lace it's ruchy and ruffly i don't know if those are words that we're using but yeah, I think this, I will list this. It's kind of a little bit cottage core, so I think somebody's probably gonna buy this. I'll just list it for 15 and take an offer of 10 or so. Okay, this one is some cheap fabric, some cheap brand, and I don't think this even had a size. It's just a dark green, like a hunter green dress, and it kind of, it looks cute when you just look at it. When you touch it, it's that cheap, like, nasty Shein fast fashion polyester feel and i don't know i do not like it it's a dress in case i didn't mention that it's not a jumpsuit it says it's a size small and then i think the brand is just some like amazon brand i don't even know if you can see that uh we pinly i don't know and it's polyester and spandex so <sighs> i'll look it up if it's an amazon brand and if there's a cute stock photo maybe i'll list it but i, mm, I don't really think it's worth it yeah, I also think it's missing um, a thing to tie it. Oh no, never mind. It's like a wrap. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, this is going to be hard to hold up, but it wraps around down here. So the skirt is kind of like a wrap. There's a wrap portion to it. I don't know. I mean, again, I think it looks cute in pictures and such. And if you just need a green dress to take pictures for some special occasion, you can probably get that from me for 10 bucks or for... 15 from Amazon. It's just, it feels just, ooh, the fabric. I hate it. I really hate it. Okay, here's the first of the uh, sort of like gown, quote unquote, uh, items in this box. And it did not leave me speechless, but that's the brand, a size medium. And it's a strapless, really nice long prom dress, but possibly not what the kids are wearing these days. It looks more blue than teal on camera, but it's a very nice teal color. I like that. Uh, it does have the tie attached and it is like, it has this pleating in the back. It, I mean, I don't know. I, I see tons of these dresses at the thrift. I don't think they will sell for much, but I will probably list it just because we're going into the whole prom and wedding season. Okay, you, you seeing this? You seeing this? All this sequin action here. That one's a wild one. I kind of love it, not gonna lie. Uh, it's a Night Moves size four. Do I know anything about this brand? No. Nope. But it is, oh my God, these sequins, they're all like attached to each other. They get stuck and then this whole dress does not look like it's supposed to. Okay, it's another like strapless number. And here's the thing. Um, I know we didn't include it in our trends video, but I believe mermaid core is like a trend this year, so. This is a very mermaid core. I'm sorry that I'm coughing. I don't know what happened. Like I sat down to film a video and my cough kicked in. Uh, it does have a slit that I just noticed that basically goes all the way up to your uh, hoo-ha almost. So I, oh my God, you bet I'm gonna list this. This is so insanely tacky. Yeah, we're gonna list it. And I'm gonna have to put probably a lot of tissue paper around it just to keep these sequins from like getting stuck to each other. I feel like somebody looked at a piece of fabric and was like, how many sequins can I possibly put on this and then call it a dress? That is that number. Like, how do you wear that and be comfortable? I don't understand. Anyway, this one... <coughs> this one is a misguided plus size, uh, a US 18. So that's a good size. We're happy with that. And it's like kind of like the Swiss dot. Is that Swiss dot? You let me know if there's a Swiss dot. I think it is. Uh, off the shoulder little baby doll dress. I believe it's a dress. It could be worn as a top. No, but I think it's it's supposed to be a dress. Yeah, it's supposed to be a dress. It's supposed to sit down here. Sorry, I'm just like holding it up. It's my size. I could wear it, but it's way too short for my taste. So 
cute little plus size short mini dress um perfect for summer so i'm happy with that i mean the color if you like black you like black you know this one is a skirt by natasha paris i don't think this is anything good but we're gonna find out it's super wrinkly it's also super 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 tiny um but it's like a midi to maxi skirt i don't think there was a size tag anywhere in this I don't think there was a fabric tag anywhere in this. I could be wrong. You know what? Never mind. So it does have a fabric tag. It looks like a fairly cheap tag. It's viscose and oh, it's viscose and silk actually. So there's that. It's made in Italy. Um, I don't think it has a size. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't have much luck with like European brands that are not very well known. I have a friend uh, who's originally from Italy who at some point gave me a whole bunch of clothing that she purchased in Europe and I had a really hard time selling most of it unless it was something that's known here too. So cute pieces too, but yeah, we'll see if there's a market for it. I will definitely look it up and if it's something really good, I'll put it on the screen too. All right, this one just has a size tag. It's a size small and it's another maxi dress in another like teal color. And so the top portion is like this and then it does have things to tie around the neck i just can't hold them up because i'm holding up this back portion here it's complicated this is going to be so fun to photograph so this is the back portion and so that's that's the top and then the dress itself like the bottom of the dress this is very flowy like maxi dress almost a little bit like mermaid too i mean this is just like I don't know. I, I could see this being really cute as like resort wear when you're on a summer vacation, you know, just toss it on. You can even probably just wear the skirt and tuck that top in, I would think. I don't know. So I will list it even though it doesn't have a brand. This one is a Knox Rose in a size large, just a Target brand, but people kind of love Knox Rose. I just sold a Knox Rose today. Uh, this is a dress. It has ties up here, a little bit of pleating floral cottage core you know that's a size large so i don't know i may be able to get a little bit of money for this um it's slightly high low but it might just be the way i'm holding it so yeah and it's this nice uh rusty orange brown color so i can see this working for spring but also for fall uh if you just layer all right and the last number in here which is also full of sequins but not as much as the other one this is a jump apparel by whatever this says. <laughs> Again, not a good brand. Um, and this one, hold on. Let me see if I can at least attach this. Check and buttons and things. Okay, so it's another kind of like prom dressy number. Uh, formal dress. It does have the cutout in the back. So lots of lace and lots of sequins is what it has. And yeah, it's um, interesting. So it's a lot of a lot of fabric. So I feel like ThreadUp was like, yeah, we don't want to photograph this ish. So here you go, Veronica. It's a size one slash two. So I don't know. I, I'm not doing these gowns justice, I feel like, but they're also not like great brands. So I don't know if sequins are still a thing this year. I kind of hope they are because then I'm in good shape with this box. But yeah, uh, it was definitely interesting. I'm going to count real quick, but my battery is also dying. So just in case that my battery is dying before I'm done counting, I'm going to say uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and we'll give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed yet and you want to be, go ahead. Button's right there. I would love to have you here. I would be happy to see you in another video very soon or on a live. Every other Thursday, I do Realist and Relax at 9.30 Eastern. So I hope to see you there. This done. Cheers. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, not counting this thing, I have 12 items and I think I will list pretty much all of them. So whatever that comes out for the cost of goods, it's going to be less than $3, so that's good. But yeah, we'll see what we can make on this box. I will definitely keep you posted. And again, thanks for watching. Cheers!